Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing a summer 2021 bikini haul for you guys today, taking you through some of my favorites in my collection. And I am currently doing some last minute packing for a trip to Mexico. I leave in the morning. So I thought what better time than to go through my bikinis because I'm currently packing a ton of them. And I have literally been procrastinating this video for weeks. I honestly just was having a really hard time narrowing down which suits that I wanted to show you guys and like what to show from each brand and what brands to put in it because I have so many freaking bikinis. I have an unhealthy obsession and I didn't want to make it like an overwhelming amount of them. So it was really hard to narrow that down. But let me know how you guys feel about this video because I could absolutely do a part two if that's something you're interested in seeing. Um, but yeah, I've literally been putting this video off for weeks waiting for like I kept waiting for new bikinis to come in that I had ordered I kept waiting for like the perfect body day to be in a bikini on camera for 20 minutes and now I'm doing it the night before I leave for Mexico I just got a facial and it turns out I have some like dermatitis so I'm not supposed to wear makeup for the rest of the night so we are just doing it before I leave because now feels like a good time I know that everyone's bikini shopping, so I'll have like sizing, links, everything like that down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but let's get into it. Okay, we're starting off with 473 because they are probably like one of my top three favorite swim brands at the moment. I literally love everything that they make. Their fabric is just the best part of all. It literally is like buttery, buttery soft, and I just feel like this is like a standard triangle bikini, obviously, as you can see but a lot of their cuts are just, well, not a lot of them, like most of their classic cuts are just like super, super flattering. The fabric feels so good on the skin. The quality is amazing. And a big thing for them is like a lot of their suits can be tied so many different ways. This is like my favorite print they've ever done. I think it's called the Flora and it has a matching sarong that I will show you guys. But I love that the ties can be like twisted around. You can also just tie them normally. So, Definitely one of my favorite brands. I pretty much wear a small in 437 across the board. And I feel like their bikinis kind of run a little bit small. Like this one is pretty tiny. Definitely great for tanning. I don't mind it. I like small bikinis, but if you are on the more modest side, then maybe consider sizing up. I'll show you what the back of this one looks like. Super cheeky. I mean, I like to also wear my um, bikinis really high up on my hips just because I feel like it's more flattering. So a lot of times I will size up in brands anyway just so that I have like more fabric and more stretch to wear them this way. So totally just depends on personal preference. And then here is the little cutie matching sarong if I can tie this. Yeah, just like so good. I love this print so much. This one is absolutely coming with me to Mexico because I haven't even shot it yet. Okay, so for the sake of continuity, I just wanted to show you the other 437 bikini that I have decided to include in this haul just so you can see like some of the other styles. This is like one of their core pieces. It's like one of the first suits I ever got from them. The top is actually just like a really long string and it's super stretchy so you can tie it like 10 different ways. I personally love tying it like this because I feel like it like really elongates your torso. And then I'm also wearing this one in a small. This is another example of like, you can wear these super high up. You can wear them a little bit lower. And this one is like a full on thong in the back. But all their bikinis can be mixed and matched. They have like different tops and bottoms to everything. And the fabric is just like amazing, super soft, amazing quality. Like I just can't say enough good things about the brand. Okay, this is another OG favorite swim brand, Stone Fox Swim. So I just love them so much. I feel like they have really unique designs and prints. The quality is amazing. This is a newer one from them, but I literally have had some of my bikinis from them for years and they held up amazing. Um, I'm wearing a small bottom and an extra small top in them. And that's pretty much what I always wear in their suits. And this is like a very minimal one, but I honestly think it's so cute. And it has like these double straps. It's very cheeky in the back. It's pretty much a thong. And they have like tons of different cuts and prints and designs. Recently, everything with them has been selling out, but they have like restock notifications on their website and I just feel like 
everything from them is so cute. I literally got four new bikinis from Mexico from them and I'm bringing them all. They're all coming with. This one is from Monday Swimwear. It's like their crinkle fabric. They do a lot of really good solid colors and they do like less prints, but I love that for when you're in need of a good solid. They do have some prints. Wearing these both in a size petite, which is like their version of an extra small. And I feel like most of their stuff is true to size, whereas I feel like a lot of the other brands that I'm showing you, I did size up to a small, at least in the bottom, if not in the top as well. So this one definitely runs true to size. And one of their big things is that they make suits that go all the way up to like a size I don't even know how big for like bigger chested girls. So they definitely cater to all different body types, which is something that's really cool about them. This is what the back looks like. You'll notice a trend here, which is that I like really cheeky bikini bottoms and I like to wear them up high on the hips. I feel like if you wear them a little lower, you can get more coverage in the back, but just depends on what you want to do. Okay. This is a recent suit that I got from Abercrombie. If you missed one of my videos like about a month ago, I did a big Abercrombie haul and this was one of the suits that I got. I'm honestly so impressed with Abercrombie Swim. Like the quality is amazing. It's definitely one of the more affordable brands that I have to show you today. And the sizing is really what got me. I have a super hard time finding swim tops that have an underwear that are actually flattering on my small chest. And these are both a size extra small, so they definitely run true to size. And I feel like they're really flattering if you have a smaller chest. And like I said, on the more affordable side, and super cute, really good quality. They have lots of different swim options. So extra small top and bottom for this one. I don't think this exact print is available, but they definitely have tons of other swim on their website. And this is what the back of this one looks like. Oh, I totally have it like twisted, but you get the idea. Okay, next up is a brand called Skatey. One of the more smaller brands, is that even phrase? one of the smaller brands that I have to show you today. They are a local LA brand, they're sustainable. They literally drop new prints every single week and they have tons of really cute prints like this. A lot of times they'll do a print and a solid, so like they kind of cater to everyone. Um, they're another one that has like a bajillion different styles. They have styles for bigger breasts. They have a lot of them with this knot, which I think is really unique and super cute and flattering. And quality is amazing. I just really love them. I love the simplicity of their suits. Like. I don't know how to explain it. They're just like easy, comfy, supportive, cute, all the things. This is what the back of this one looks like. This is an older print from them, but they definitely have a lot of similar things like this. Moving on to one of the two one pieces that I have to show you. This is from Riot Swim. I discovered this company probably like a year ago at some point during the pandemic, I bought this suit from them because I found it on Instagram and it's just so flattering. Like it cinches your waist in, it's super high on the hips, your legs look really long, has this deep V. It's pretty much a thong in the back as well. The fabric is, well, <laughs> the fabric is like butter, comes in a bunch of colors and I've also seen people wear it as a bodysuit, which I think would be super cute. So I will definitely be stealing that idea. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing this in an extra small, but I will double check and I'll put it down in the description. I have yet to actually wear this like out. I feel like I wore it in a hot tub once, but it's so comfy and it's so flattering. I just feel like I don't reach for my one pieces that often, but we're gonna bring it to Mexico and we'll see what happens. I just got this suit like two or three weeks ago from White Fox Swim. They are another one that has suits on the more affordable side and they have lots of like fun, vibrant prints and I really love all the colors this year. So this was perfect. This fabric is like smocked and it's super stretchy and flattering. It's another one that I feel like can be hiked up really high. And then this is actually just a regular triangle bikini top, but I have it tied upside down. So the part that would typically be around my neck is around my back and the part that would be around my back is around my neck. And I feel like this is just super flattering if you have a small chest. I have pretty much been wearing all of my triangles this way and I love it so much more. Before I learned how to do this, I didn't even really buy or wear triangle bikinis because I just felt like it wasn't that flattering of a cut on me. So definitely try this out. And this is what the back looks like. I'm sure that they still have this print. I feel like I saw it in stock, but if not, they definitely have a lot of other like cute, fun, tropical-y prints. Okay, this is the other one piece I have to show you guys. This one's from Gooseberry Seaside. 
and it's probably like one of the most flattering one pieces I have ever owned. It really, really like cinches you in in the waist and like I feel very sucked in, but it's not uncomfortable at all. Has this deep V in the front and then it's like one of the more modest ones in the back. I feel like this could be very family friendly, but it has this little back and it's still super sexy and cute. Comes in like six or 10 colors. The quality is amazing. Like probably one of the more expensive suits that I'm showing you today, but also probably one of the best quality suits I'm showing you today. So pros and cons. Okay, this suit is from Nasty Gal. Probably the most affordable swimwear brand that I have to show you today. This is a size two in the top and bottom. Their sizing can be like a little bit unpredictable. I feel like I err on the side of caution. I'll go a little bit larger because I have gotten some in a size zero from them or like teeny tiny. This one I probably could have done in a zero, but it still works. It is a really good tanning bikini. I love all the strings on this one. Um, this is what the back looks like. And this one can be tied like around your neck a couple different ways. I'm not sure if they have this exact print in stock, but I'm like almost positive that they have a bikini that looks like just like this in another print or in a solid. And like I said, they're super affordable, but it's a situation where you get what you pay for. They're not the best quality. I wouldn't say this is gonna last me for years, but it's definitely good for if you need something in a pinch or you just want something cheap or you just want to have a lot of bikinis for the price of like one of these. So I will link this one or like similar ones down below. Okay, this one is by Nude Swim and they have like tons of super minimal, like fun color bikinis. I have this one in a hot pink as well. And it definitely has like the most minimal straps. Like they're super tiny as you can see. Amazing for tanning, but like probably not the most family friendly, family friendly bikini. Probably would not wear this one around my dad, but I do love to lay out in it. I have it tied upside down again, just like the other one. Super minimal in the back. The fabric is really soft and I feel like this is the only style that I have from them but I have seen a lot of other cute styles in them. This is like a newer brand that I found just in the last few months. Okay, we are ending it with Frankie's Bikinis. I absolutely love this brand. I feel like the quality is amazing. They have so many cute prints and they drop new bikinis like constantly. I feel like every time I go to their website, they have a million new styles. But my only gripe with them is that their sizing is kind of difficult. I feel like it runs really small and like very, low rise like as i put this on i realized how little fabric there actually is on this bikini no, a lot of the other ones are the same situation but i just feel like i have had difficulty with this brand like i even have some bikinis from them in a medium because you just have to like pay attention to their website like what the model's wearing and what the style is because some of them i've just found can be like super low rise so I absolutely love their designs and their prints, but I do have a little bit of difficulty with the sizing. So I'll just throw that out there. If you're in between, I would definitely, definitely size up in Frankie's, but this one has a little matching bucket hat and they do like lots of matching accessories and just lots of like fun colors and prints. So I will have this one and everything else linked down below. Like I said, this doesn't even make a dent in my bikini collection. So. If you guys are interested in another video, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna go finish packing. I will talk to you guys next time.